Hello guys, we're back again with another episode of the Minecraft Let's Play. This is episode 2, and uh, we here at the uh, base we started making yesterday. Uh, I really haven't done much, maybe just made some more stone tools. Cleared out a little bit of area, and planted some trees down there, and chopped a couple down there. And uh, I think what we're going to start doing today is making a little, making it look a little bit nicer in here. It's not going to look perfect, of course. But it may just look a little bit more nice. So let's just surround everything in stone brick. And then what I'm planning to do is surround this in stone brick, tear this out, and replace that with spruce. And I think that'll look pretty nice. Let's leave the ladder open for now. Alright. Let's place that there, and that there, and that there. That's good. Now we're going to start removing the floor, and this is going to take a while because of the fact that I have not gone mining yet. Um, I'm planning on maybe doing some mining off camera, I'm not sure, but I want to hear, you, hear feedback from you guys. Would you like me to do some mining off camera or uh, start mining on camera? Because last time I know some people wanted to see the mining on camera but uh I decided to do it off camera so again I just want to hear you guys if I should go ahead and do mining ne next episode or not alright that's one piece of the floor done or almost done actually not all the way done Let's go get the, uh, wait, I think I'm playing on peaceful. Let's go to normal. Alright, let's put these items up, and let's grab the spruce. One second, I've got to fix my mic. There we go. Sound is off. Alright. What we're pretty much just doing is replacing the floor with spruce because uh, I've always thought spruce I never liked it as like a building material but I always thought it looked good for flooring so that's what we'll be using it for all right now let's go get let's go get some more some more the spruce. I went ahead and chopped a stack. I was thinking we also had we would also have sandstone walls. Um, but again, I want to hear back from you guys before I do anything like that. Uh, for now, we'll probably just have regular old stone walls. That looks pretty good. I like how it looks kind of like the texture is caramely. Looks looks nice. All right, tear out some floor. <laughs> and this should be the second episode in one day. Um, if it's not, that means there was some problems with the video editing software. And I could not get two episodes up in one day. All right. I think we'll have a different theme for each room. So the main room will be this room. It'll be pretty large. I was thinking maybe we clear a large part of the mountain out, maybe like uh, 20 something blocks back. And uh, yeah, again, I'll probably be doing that off camera while watching a YouTube video or something, or TV. Alright, we're almost done with the floor. 
but that's looking pretty nice so far, I think. We also have our uh, first wooden pickup pick pickaxe up there, which is always good because that's what I wanted to do. We're almost done with the floor. All right, that looks nice. It's a nice little room. Again, I'll be tearing down this wall right here. But uh, let's get something to eat. And since we don't have anything to eat, I think in this episode, we might set up a small farm. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab some items to make a, a hoe. Alright. And two buckets. And jump. Okay. Um the farm we're gonna make is going to be a temporary farm. And it's just going to be about this big. On the coast. Nothing big. Nothing fancy. Just uh something to keep us going. And let's go chop down some grass to get some seeds. I have been really lucky with so far with this because I have not encountered a single mob fighting mice. Uh, but it's also a bad thing because I don't get things like bone meal and gunpowder. And those are things I would like to get. I think it might be because uh, if you can see all these, that means there's a large cave system beneath us. So um, most mobs are probably going to be spawning below us and capping the limit. Alright, I think we have two, three seeds, four seeds, five seeds. Alright, I think we could probably start a farm with six seeds now. And the sun is starting to go down, so we should probably head over there. <laughs> Place some torches. Alright, so that'll start growing, and we'll be able to have access to wheat. Alright. No more seeds. Let's see. Nope. Okay, so let's our let's go ahead and head back up. <coughs> head up back up the mountain. Uh, I will be having a much better path. I'm actually thinking about covering this up and building a stable down there for the horses in 1.6 which 1.6 has come out I'm just not playing in it because we cannot get Attic Craft to update yet and uh, I've been introducing new members since you've seen in the latest episode um I'm gonna go ahead and eat something I can find the food there it is and watch this one set. Alright, that's enough watching. Let's go to bed. <clears throat> um, what I'm planning to do here is actually take the walls and maybe make lots of waterfalls along the side of the walls. And that always looks nice with waterfalls and such. I'm also on plan planning on uh, just making large rooms with not much in them. Maybe like a a large room with a small, smallish um, enchanting table and like books hanging from the ceiling. Just kind of make it look nice. And I'm d I'm planning on going deep into the mountain, like going way down underneath. 
and uh, maybe trying to find a case system and building inside of that. So I have a lot planned for this. I'm also planning on trying to build all the way over there. <laughs> it's a, if, and also uh, possibly building a mob spawner. So I have a lot planned for this series and I think it will turn out very well. Um, now, I think this is pretty much just going to be a farm episode where we set up a bunch of farms. So let's go ahead and set up a sugarcane farm. Alright. I should probably take that one down. One, two, and three. Alright, so we have a small, smallish sugarcane farm. I'm also planning on tearing that down. I'll probably also do that off camera. But, uh, again, everything we're gonna do is just to make this place look as great as possible. Defeat the Ender Dragon, kill the Wither, just have a normal Let's Play. And, um, I'm also. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm probably gonna try to raise the roof that high. Like, along the entire way. Which I'll probably just have to do is go up about. about four blocks here. Like, start digging right here. Take down these layers, and then take down the rest of the layers. Which isn't too difficult to do. I'm gonna put these items away. And if you look at my sword. I haven't had to kill anything besides sheep, so I've had it pretty easy. Okay, so this is a pretty deep lake for some reason, and I don't know why it's a deep lake. Just happens to be a deep lake that is deep. And lakey. Okay. I think we, we can't really do any exploring in this episode because I don't have the stuff necessary. I think I'll just go mining later and probably get get back to you with lots of iron and uh, yeah. I think uh, I think that's good you've got lots of stuff planned but I'm gonna have to pause it and think of something we can do today so I'll get back to you in a minute see you alright hey guys I'm back and I guess we don't have much planned I just got a little bit of energy because I'm excited for 1.6. I think we will be updating very soon. But let's go over here and see what spawner this is. Because I completely forgot that we never checked on it. Uh, to tell you, as you saw the enchanted book, that is Projectile Protection 4. And also you saw the saddle. I went in the chest early and I peeked. I am sorry guys but we did find those so that's a good thing so let's go over here to the spawner I have not cleared it out yet but I, 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 have, I have seen what kind of spawner it is it is a zombie spawner which those things are fun because zombies can provide us with carrots potatoes and all sorts of other foods or yeah rotten flesh <laughs> in armors, iron armors, iron ingots, and lots of other things. So if you're doing a a skyblock or super flat, those things, zombies, are probably one of the more resourceful mobs to be harvesting. So that's good. We won't be, uh, I looked at a time, and we're already 12 minutes in, so we're not going to be able to do much, but, uh, we can still do a little bit. 
come over here and look at the spawner, I guess. I also took the chests. And there's lava there. <laughs> okay. Let's clear this down. Alright. So, it's a nice little, uh, nice little mob spawner. And we got sand! So we can make glass, which is awesome. So we'll be making glass soon. And let's tear down this this sand that just fell on us. That's the only part I don't like about sand. Is that it doesn't apply to gravity. So where it doesn't apply to the same physics as normal blocks because it has gravity. So they fall whenever you try to dig up in the desert. Which can suffocate you. Which is always why you like if you uh, if you're in a desert biome and you dig and you're digging straight up, place a torch underneath you whenever you begin to dig up. Because that will protect you from falling blocks such as gravel and a whole bunch of other things like sand yep okay let's go back to our base and I am hungry and real life too I am kind of hungry <laughs> I'll probably just go go in a bit and make myself something to eat because that's all we have for this episode we grab some sand, look at all we had a zombie spawner, replace the floor, and discuss what we're doing. And we made a bread farm. So I think we did quite a bit in this episode. Okay, let's put this in here. Again, projectile protection four. We also got cocoa beans, three redstone, sixteen gunpowder, wheat and a saddle. Alright guys. So, I guess this is all we have for our episode. Again, uh, thanks for watching. Please like, favorite, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.